Let us find a gateway. Return home. Consider our plans. Listen, brother. Before you make any hasty decisions, why don't you blow off a little steam? I'm sure there was some loose end we meant to circle back to. Give your mind a little time to process everything. I suspect there's unfinished business here at the lake, though... I'm certainly happy to spend time somewhere other than Midgard. It's your choice, brother. <clears throat> Another gravestone. But this one's intact. Aye, and with a keyhole tailor-made for the help we found. Now... Wait. Be ready for combat. Thank you, Zella. Oh, my king! <sighs> Yeah. Repent! Oh. 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 
Favor, brother. You see any more of these ghostly berserker tossers, give them the same. You'll be doing the Nine Realms a favor. Did these warriors wrong? You at some point, Mimir? You're quite agitated, even for you. No need to rehash ancient history if it's all the same to you. Very well. Good news for you? No. Ah. Maybe buying something expensive will take your mind off it? And now, Freya? Anything for Freya? Fashionable. Be careful! It's delicate. Whatever you need, whenever you need it. And for the Valkyrie Queen? Need something? Want something in particular? Still a pleasure to see you anyway.
there. I was secret when you saw a lot. She's still incorporeal ever since Kratos set her free of her corrupted form. But she hasn't let that stop her from helping any way she can. The truth is, I owe her more than I can repay. I doubt she'd see it that way. When we freed her, she could speak of little else but her reverence for you. <laughs> Seeing you yourself again would surely be payment enough. About the oracles of your lands, would you say they manipulated events? Did they have an agenda? I do not doubt they held their own interests first, but in my experience, they could be easily fooled by their own prophecies. Would that be a specific experience, brother? Hmm. Once, I sought the oracle for a means to break my bondage to Ares. One priestess had visions that showed her Olympus would be brought to ruin by the god of war. Therefore she helped me, intending to undermine Ares and protect her realm. But we will continue another time. that Fimblewinter had worn down some of Odin's curses, but you still need to help. Was it Sigrun who helped you recover your warrior spirit? Is that how Odin liked to refer to the curse that kept me from defending myself? Oh, I suppose that is where I heard it. Would you like to know how that curse really worked? What it did to me? What it cost me to finally break it? I... I'm no longer sure that I do. That's correct. Well... Seagrin must have helped find your Valkyrie wings. Were they hidden in the place I get? They were not. But yes, she did. Argued all the while I should let my anger go, but helped me just the same. of Odin's. Very secretive. Trusted with his dirtiest deeds. Never met her myself. Why do you stare? He's gonna be fine, you know. I do not. He's getting what he needs. He is in danger. And being with you, he was safe as houses, huh? Never got close to dying. Not even once? I did not come to you for a lecture. I know. 
It's on the house. My new customer loyalty program. We will speak no more of it. like he leads the person, sees their intention. My intent will be to kill him. Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. Any move you make, he'll have seen it coming. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. Humor me? Very well. We will ask the dwarves. Ah, the inevitable asking of the dwarves. Sir, could I have a moment of your time? Oh dear, oh dear, what's to be done? What is it you want? It has come to my attention that Nithog has been slain, and as a result, her offspring have been let loose into the Nine Realms. What of it? Unfortunately, without a proper role model to supervise them, the little rascals are certain to fall to mischief. In time, said mischief could culminate in nothing less than their devouring of the Nine Realms entirely. In order to avoid such a grisly fate, I'd like you to bring the lean worms to me. I believe I can act as a satisfactory paternal figure in their upbringing. You'll find the specimens gnawing on tears throughout the realms. Use this device to safely store them, bring them back to me, and I promise I'll make it worth your while. You mean to say you'd raise them by yourself? Indeed. I have no small experience managing extreme personalities. Compared to wrestling with my emotions in the most literal of senses, I dare say raising a handful of leaned worms will be a walk in the park. All that said, I'm happy to discuss anything else on your mind. <sighs> well then, what else, friends? About Nithog. You should know. We had no choice. It was Odin's doing. Oh, I am very well aware indeed of the alleged All-Father's role in this tragedy. Sadly, there's no expecting him to clean up after himself. Not all gods showed the interest that you do in righting past wrongs. I do hope you're able to locate those lean worms. Good luck to you. Until our next encounter, then. We don't talk to you. Cover up. Back. They're back. Simmer down. I see them. You know, it's not enough to find a way to beat Heimdall. We also need a way to Asgard. I have news. Oh, did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses. Sees everything coming. Unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri! Go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need it. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And to spare. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. 
Why would a... Oh. You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go... Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. I suppose there's nothing to do, but... Go fetch Dropnir. Drop near. I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Odin blamed me for it disappearing. They stole drop near. We didn't steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. How will this help me kill Hondal? Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. We're artists. But to even store drop near, you'd need. You were saying. Now you intend to kill Heimdall. Violence cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly thought you understood that. No matter what you thought I understood, my son is in danger. You will not allow harm to come to him. Not only to Atreus, but to everyone. He's Odin's left hand, and he carries the horde that begins Ragnarok. If we have the chance to eliminate him, we and should... it's just as likely a trap, because the bastard knows your intentions. Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention, we'll have to visit... the lady. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, that's a relief. <laughs> uh. Ow. Kratos, whenever you're ready. The lady, no idea what he's on about, brother. I became on our last adventure. I can't be around the violence that follows him. That follows you both. I'm sorry. See you out there. Ah, time to go see the lady. I'll take it from here. Oh, no. This whole thing were my idea. I'll speak to the lady. I never get to speak to the lady. There are reasons for that. Brock will go. What? No, no, no. You heard him. Quit your fret. I ain't gonna mess nothing up. What the? <sighs> no, you pimp your shrimps. Think that'll keep us out? Well, think the fuck again. What 
was all that then? Oh, just Sentry trying to hog all the glory. Same old shit. Not that. The gate. What's wrong with a bloody gate? Most likely someone in need of a Lear been making a fuckery of the works. Probably on account of all that incursion in you got to do. Don't worry, you little dangling head. Old rock. I got ways in and out from the old days. Gates it never even think to look for. On account of being stupid. Brock, where are we? This here's your stop. Abandoned service tunnel, direct to the forge camp. I'll meet you up there. Go on. Brock. And he's gone. You sure he was the right pick for this, brother? I trust him. He speaks plain. And yet so colorfully. surface here. Elvish, I think. There. We keep cooperating, maybe someday it'll be Asgard in flames. That is not my goal. Doesn't mean it's not your destiny. What are you insinuating, Highness? Not a thing. Poor bugger. Why would he hide in here? He feared something in these tunnels more than he feared starving. Hardly seems rational. Fear seldom is. for liquor and explosives. Little on the nose for dwarven culture, isn't it? Ridiculing a culture you helped undermine. Classic Aesir. Oh, all right. Might have earned that one. service tunnel. Oh, 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 oh,
Another oil spill. Ah! A fortuitous oil spill. Please listen. You have to let me take Brock's place. He can't talk to the lady. He mustn't. No. Do not ask again. But... Oh dear. fault Atreus ran off, you know. Or are you just being Brock's champion? There it is again. You're insinuating and you know it. Can't the smartest man alive put it together? The Giants conceal a mysterious figure who changes the fate of Ragnarok and you're oblivious to the only rational candidate. The one who's fought wars against gods and won. I am not their champion. Well, we're each entitled to our opinion. These gates seem to be connected. See if you can break that far fixture. The sigil arrows should work with ice as well.
open. Heartier sort of grim. These won't be easy tunnels for the dwarves to take back. We'll need to get one of those gates open. <laughs> ah, we've seen these troughs before, haven't we, brother? That worked, shall we? This opinion of yours. Was that the reason you proposed this alliance? You expect me to lead your armies at Ragnarok? That is Tyr's job, not mine. It's plain to see Tyr's no war god anymore. Nor am I. I have left that life behind. Not killing gods you haven't. Or else what are we doing in this realm? Forging this weapon? Your choice. You know where it might lead. I am only protecting I my... know. I know. And we both know the basic of what your child can take. Sigil arrows won't work on this. Where have they got the third one hidden away? dangerous until we stun them.
Atreus's mother was a giant, isn't that right? She was one of the Jotnar. Yes. I didn't mean she was tall as a house. I, I know not all giants are giants. Not that there's anything wrong with the disparity in size. Or number of limbs, say. Nothing in the world. <laughs> There. Now we can open the other gate. Why is it you ask? I was just thinking of how Odin antagonized the giants for generations. Nearly wiped them out of existence twice. Now you may have a role to play in stopping him once and for all. Don't you think it's possible that's what your wife would have wanted? Do not presume to know what she wanted. I'm not saying anything you haven't thought. Her secrets haunt every step of your path, wasn't it? Maybe if you talked about your doubts, they wouldn't explode when you talked to your son. I do not doubt. She knows what I left behind. She would never have asked that of me. Why would she need to ask? She saw your fate. Three of Odin's kin dead because of the path she put you on. You don't think she knew exactly what it meant, sending you to Jotunheim? This is mere conjecture and probably quite enough of it, Highness. <laughs> We're all making an effort to cooperate here, after all. You're right. It's not for me to say. <laughs> all right. Let's get that wheel turning. Ah, teamwork. Oh, bugger. Two of them. And they're angry.
ready for some fresh air after that. Everyone thought so. It is close. Thank you. I wasn't trying to provoke you or cast doubt on your marriage. It just seems to me your thoughts haven't caught up to your instincts yet. And I know something about that. When we get out of here, I'll give you some space. Let you think carefully about whether you're ready for what it means to make this weapon, and to use it. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll see what else I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Ain Hair Yar back to Valhalla for good measure. Well, you have fun now. Hey, you made it! About time. I got everything all set here. Now we just gotta push. Long as you know that ain't the way to the forge. So much for following me. Fine. Let's see what you find. Hey, try sticking your hand in that thing. Not that me. Oh, kidding, you scrub scar. Let's go! Let's go! 
this up too? I'll have you know that was Pledger when we found it. Coming here, busting old tear loose. What a prize he turned out to be, huh? <laughs> Hang on. Almost got it. There. Well, come on in, stranger. I never do get used to that trick. Locals up ahead. Act civilized, and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. No, quit your nattering, you snake-sucking mommy milk sops with your protective gear. Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? Is the tall one his bodyguard or something? Think he understands us? Well, that ain't no good. <laughs> you see what's wrong here? Those creepy flying eyeballs made a nest up on the cables. We gotta figure a way up there and clear them all. Go! Well, this sure is exciting to watch. But you know that's out of range, right?
Okay, looks like that wheel up there opens the gate. <laughs> No grappling up that way. Why don't you look around and see if there's a way to lift this lift? Brother, did you notice the dwarves of the camp were twice as alarmed to see Brock than they were to see you? They did seem surprised. All right. Now I can turn this plane to cap that geyser there. You just give me the signal when you're ready. Now. On it! other stuff. You need a new vantage point, brother. Turn it. Copy that. Can we get up any higher from here? Turn it again. Aye, aye. Once more. Vantage point, brother. Hey, I got the crank cover. You do the other stuff. Again. Can we get up any higher from here? Promising.
They seen us. Appetite? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> stump the stump. <laughs> oh, isn't that clever? Bam, what? Some what? The wind? No, you idiot. The sound of the wind. Oh, watch and learn. See? Dwarven magic's all about the intangibles. The relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. Understanding what? The nature of a thing's more important. Form of a thing. Hmm. Hang on. I smell trouble. <laughs> chance to meet her since I was knee-high to a Noken. But Sindri had never had it. Said I was too uncool. But today's finally the day. Woo! I got goosebumps on my bunions. <laughs> Why, bro, I've never seen you so reverent. Are you nervous? What? Shut up. No, fuck you. <laughs>
on, pasty. Turn the crank. Let's do this. It does not work. Huh? What is it this time? Out of the way. Let me look. everything in this dang city my own self. I'm gonna need a couple of things. Follow me. Yeesh. This place ain't in some disrepair. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. <laughs> this lady, what does she do? Well, we'll both see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. Doesn't give them to every piece, but the ones she does, there's something to behold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster, huh? Maybe sometime I'll spin you that tale. He's the only one who ever got my highbrow since he did. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I boom drop. Time to find less to prove. You learn to keep Save your extra effort for when it's personal. Like for when you finally get to show the lady who you are. Wow, Goaty, you sure did give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. It gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. <laughs> All right, let's get back to business. One more crank to turn, and it's on to the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge. But we're going to the nature of the world. I was almost following him for a moment there. We're good. Crank it.
She needs the final ingredient. The blood of a god. Give her your hand. Alfie Verger almost forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might bless it for us. Are you, uh... Hello? Hello? What the fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. They speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck. Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! <laughs> the fuck you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no, I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters. Not at all. All right. May this weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. You know I can't let you take our new gal home without giving her a twirl. Look! We got volunteers! Back to an offensive stop! Ain't your first time with the spear, I reckon! It is the first weapon a Spartan learns! The hell! Ain't this just like old times, man? Put it more for boys than myself. Brother, that gun's trying to patch on high. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! 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 
See that weak spot? Jam one in right there. Trust me, huck a spear right up there where it looks weak. That's it! Yep, guess we're doing this one boy style. Now listen, uh, I appreciate what you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack scabbing liar. No doubt he only wished to protect you. Word his call to me. The guy dies, he's got the right to know about it. Take heart, Brock. We all die sometime. Many of us more than once. No, never mind all that. We gotta finish putting the spirit through our paces. Come on! Might have to get creative up ahead. <sighs> There's a whole mess all over. Get your throwing arm in here. It's coming above you. Right Get the dang nest. <laughs>
guesses, belt boy. Oh, all right. Gets bigger the more you take away. Now, is it time? Because the more removed from events you become, the larger their scope in your memory. No. That's bollocks now that I say it. Never mind. <laughs> Today's all right. My ball is taking over the trail. We better beat him out. Hey, all in all, back your trip. Behind you, brother. Gonna break you down for part and sell your hide and freedom. For your next lesson, take note of that there watching my hoot. Get a decent angle and fling a spear into it head on. favorite ask of the both of you and we can call a square what happened down there in the forge with the lady that's my story to tell all right agreed oh very well these ugly bugs maybe those grim will take him down
I see a shorter path. Aye. Shall we let Brock improve your gear before we go? Thank you, Brock. It is a good spear. Damn straight it is. Can I see how you'll be getting down from up here? Best I find my own way back. Been too auspicious a day to end you working and working. you or anything. You did not. Right. Uh, you... Bring that back to Ratatos group whenever you're ready. Dirt. And I'll get those gates working for you! I only hope Sindri's in one piece by the time Brock's done with him. The ice beneath those two is thin enough under the best of circumstances. Everyone. 
Now a good time. I just want to talk. Dad to dad. Speaking of which, imagine my surprise when Atreus came knocking at my door. <laughs> He's doing well, by the way, and will continue to do so just as long as I return to Asgard sometime soon. Besides, our friend here has a has a whole lot to live for. Arguable. Run along now, but behave yourself. <sighs> New spear. Never much cared for Brock. Can't deny the dwarf's talent. You came to speak. Speak. You don't really want war, do you, Kratos? All that blood on your hands, on your son's hands. I want peace as much as you do. Perhaps we can find it together. He's lying. I know. That boy of ours is everything I expected. So clever, kind. Be sure he's yours. A kid. You really ought to be very proud. He is the key to peace in our age, to break free from all this fate and prophecy. My son is not your key. Oh, God, do they not have metaphor in your homeland? Or rather, did they? I'm sorry, that's not fair. I know you're not the god you once were. And now is your chance to prove it. Return my son. Or you may meet the god I once was. And what kind of god is that, Kratos? What do you even know of godhood? In your lifetimes, has anyone ever worshipped you? Ever prayed to you? Can you even imagine that kind of love? No! You don't care about mortals. You don't care about anything beyond yourself. Beyond the monster who kills without cause. You fear what you can never even hope to understand. Is it any wonder that your boy is in no rush to come back to you? Don't listen to him, brother. He's just trying to get in your head. Superior bastard. The nerve of him showing up here. At least you rattled him as much as he rattled you.
Any given number of drop near spears, I suppose. <sighs> Come on, I found a gate. We just need to take the train down. I do worry, though, if I'm being frank. We've crafted a weapon to kill a god. One could say you're on the verge of returning to form. Does it scare you, aiding another violent god? I'm scared for you, brother. That spear could start a war, THE war. If that no longer concerns you, then maybe Spear's right. Maybe the Giants had you in mind all along. <gasps> So this drop near Spear, you're prepared to use it? To protect Atreus. I am no one's champion but his, nor no one's god. That may be my form. It is not my nature. Do you understand? I guess a difference of opinion is hardly the most I'm setting aside for this alliance. As long as the plan is to kill Heimdall, the rest matters little. There's also the bit of news that Odin has some inkling of what we're up to. I thought I heard ravens. Damn it. What did he say? Lies, threats, and more lies. What did you expect? You think he lies that Atreus is in Asgard? No. On that, I'm afraid I believe him. Then the rest matters little. I saw a gateway near here, overlooking the bay. We can get to it with your spear, I think. This way. Another Berserker Gravestone. You know what to do, brother. Pass the field of Kallus! For King of Rome! <laughs> 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 Off your back! 
the Kallax. Fucking rules! <laughs> On your guard, Kato! <laughs> my breath over. His Berserker champions even less so. Trash. A lot of them. Why wait until now to speak of them? Before, there was nothing to be done. But finding that help changed things.
speak. Need you to get something for me. A hammer. A weapon? No. A forge hammer. Little thing. Symbol of the old resistance. Yield, solidarity, all that. Or it used to be anyway, till the Aesir buried it under that big gaudy dwarf statue in the bay. Might do the dwarves some good to see it again. You're not worried that might draw the Ain Haryar's attention? The old father nearly slit my throat just to get to you. I might be past giving a shit what he thinks. Just find me at the bar when you've got it. You'll certainly be able to reach new areas in the bay with that spear. Aye. Might be worth looking for Darlin's hammer while we're at it. Your choice, of course. Headed back to the city? Ah, but the mining rig's disabled, it seems a bit fresher out here. Not seems. Is. I... You're right. Thanks, brother. If memory serves, we're heading in the right direction to find that large dwarven statue. Durland's hammer shouldn't be far behind. Someone there. Please. I need help. What do you want? Well, to put it simply, treasure. The cash just over there, to be precise. My son and I, we... We came to these isles to uncover its riches. I feared it was too dangerous, so I came along and... was, well, seemingly proven right. Is that why you haven't moved on? My son. I suspect he went in search of the second half of the treasure. Please find him and tell me his fate. If you require a reward, you may help yourself to the treasure. 
doesn't matter to me anymore. We were sailors once. Left Midgard to seek our fortunes elsewhere. We were so close to succeeding. My boy, I'm so sorry. The remains are old. His son is surely gone. Now. It costs us little to make sure. Really? It's beautiful from up here. <laughs> A runic slate. It's incomplete. But you could use your chisel to finish it. one piece after all this time. Unlike Durlin's resistance, I suppose. We will take this to him. Oh! 
Broken Muspelheim seat is now complete. We should find a mystic gateway. Perhaps we'll find Surtur's combat challenges. Nothing good can come of this noise! <laughs> Incoming poison! 
Between the creatures and all the debris, no one could have made it out of here alive. Another one already? Great! Why exactly do you keep popping up, little one? Does your boss have you spying on us? No, 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 that wasn't our intention. You must believe me, I am here solely to serve as a guide, but, but only if you want. It's standard procedure. Well, you can rest easy. We'll get these back to Ratatoska. Thank you. And again, sorry if I offended you. I, I promise I'll be more helpful next time. Jumpy little fella, huh? Open up just ahead.
I can see the rubble from here, brother. Feels like we're in the right place. Quite the sum there, brother. We will find the ghost son. Really? His request isn't a distraction? He does not know his son's fate. I see. Okay, then. Meeting the Lady of the Forge really brought back some memories. I thought it was only in my homeland you'd see such things. Mermaids who forge weapons. Aye. I remember very fondly a late nymph called Nimue. Yeah. Very talented with a sword. Look here. I meant that literally. Shame on you. She made the best swords in all the Isles, and had big dreams about what she'd do with them one day. I wonder what became of her. Kratos, I see something. Ah, uh, lungs! Stop! No, that's rubbish! What? Brock's bloody riddle. What gets bigger the more you take away? I can't let that blue twat beat me! If you are this upset, he already has.
good. More poetry. Delightful. <laughs> Over there. Brother, another rune slate. Now, the word. Mekin. <sighs> Success. The gate is lowering up there. Brother, can we finish what you were saying about the Oracle of your homeland? She had visions of the God of War causing Olympus to fall. Yes. She assumed that to mean Ares. So she hated me against him. She did not foresee that I would kill him and take his office. In the end, I proved her vision of doom correct. So the Oracle herself brought about the very future she hoped to avoid. I suppose we're in fine company at that. Where is Seekrin now? Impossible to say. She's on a mission spanning the realms in search of our lost sisters. Our hope is if she can bring their incorporeal spirits to Vanaheim, we can find a way to restore them to uncorrupted forms. Behind you, brother! <laughs> 
Another berserker gravestone. 